Hello everybody, welcome back to Space Flight Simulator. If you remember in our last Space Flight Simulator video, we landed on Phobos and Deimos, and those two landers that we used are still orbiting around the Earth. So today, I wanna take those two landers and dock them onto a station, bring them to Jupiter's orbit, and land them on Jupiter's moons. Okay, so this is the rocket that we used last time, but we actually don't need the landers anymore. Get rid of these parts. But we're gonna need something with a little bit more fuel to get them there. So here's our module that we're gonna use again. But this time, let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, that should be a good amount bigger and hopefully it has enough fuel to get us to Jupiter. So if you haven't seen that previous video where we landed on Phobos and Deimos, go watch it and then come back to this video so you know what's actually going on. So this should be enough to get us into orbit and then hopefully we can dock the landers onto this and then bring this whole thing over to Jupiter and then bring it back. Okay, um, if I remember last time, these side boosters actually lasted longer than the main engine, which is not what we want. But it worked last time, so it should work this time. Let's see. Okay, so I'm actually controlling the throttle pretty well, and I think that our side boosters are actually going to run out first. Yes, so I timed the throttle right this time, so we can break those off now. That'll help us get every last bit of fuel out of this rocket, which we're going to need. Okay, first stage out. Second stage, go. Let's check our orbit. Okay, we're gonna need to get higher, so we'll just boost at this rate till we get up there. Okay, we're actually gonna have to dip into our next stage. Hopefully we have enough thrust to get us into orbit. I believe we do, but we're gonna see. Okay, this is a little bit strategic here, the way we're gonna do this orbit. But I think I got control of it. Um, this stage should get us pretty close to orbit, and if it doesn't get us all the way, this one will. Okay, we ran out on this stage, but we got one more stage that we can spare for this part of the mission. Push us to orbit, we're almost there. Boom! Low Earth orbit. A perfect orbit, it looks like. We're right above the atmosphere. That's perfect. Okay, so this is what we have left of our rocket. And here's the landers. Okay. They are docked up here in a lot higher of an orbit. So, we're going to switch back now. Let's clear debris. And then click navigate to. And wait for this transfer window. And then this should grow our orbit enough to meet with it. Okay, it gives us a transfer window here of 195 meters per second. Activate our RCS and go for it. So this should bring us high enough to meet with them on this side. And then hopefully we can do everything we need to to slow down and dock with it. Okay, we went a little past, but we can use the RCS to fix that. So that's about as close as they're gonna get, about right here. So let's do a save. Time warp to when they're close to each other. and then check our relative velocity. Okay, it's 100. Okay, we're gonna activate this engine. Slow us down, go. Because we can refuel it once we get to it. Okay, side velocity, we want that zero. Okay, now we just gotta close the gap on the distance. So we have a decent amount of fuel left in these landers. Okay, here it comes. You can see it's right there, and here's our landers. So we're going to undock the landers and one of them's going to go on each side of the rocket. Okay, this is looking good. Okay. We're going to slow down now. And then get a little bit closer, probably about here. Undock them. And take this one and go dock it on. Perfect. And then switch to this one and get this one to dock on the other side. Ah! Oh, I spun it way too much. Perfect. Boom. Okay. So this rocket now has two, both of our landers on it. So now we need to try to get this rocket to Jupiter. So let's go all the, Jupiter's the furthest planet that comes in Space Flight Simulator without mods. So we're actually gonna have to wait for Earth to be in a transfer window of Jupiter. So let's time warp to that. 
Okay, and then we need to wait for it to be in a transfer window of the Earth, which is going to be right here in our Earth orbit. Right here? Okay, we need to accelerate 1,100 meters per second. So let's go. This is actually good because it uses the side that we already grew to get there, so we're not wasting fuel. Oh, this engine's on. That's bad. <laughs> okay, I hope that this fuel tank, this engine here, gets us the rest of the way. We got 10% of fuel left in this tank here. Um, I don't think it'll make it all the way, but we still have this entire thing filled with fuel to get us there. Okay, yeah, we ran out, but then we can break this off and then use these engines to go the rest of the way. I don't know if we'll have enough to come back, or I guess we're gonna see. Okay, we're getting closer to our window. Okay, we have an encounter now, because. Jupiter is going to have a really big gravity well. So let's look at our encounter now. And we want to get as close to Jupiter as we can. Because that's going to make it the easiest to slow down. A little bit closer. Inside all of its moons is ideal. Like right there. That's like about the best you can get. Okay, so we're on our way to Jupiter now. So now we just have to time warp that we make it there, which is going to take a long, long time. I'm just going to time warp to this point right here. So we left the Earth, and we're heading for the outer solar system, which is right here, past the asteroid belt. I mean, there's no asteroid belt in Space Flight Simulator, but if there was, it would be right here. And we're approaching Jupiter now. Okay, we are captured by Jupiter and heading closer. And now we are at our closest point to Jupiter. So now we need to slow down until we are in orbit of Jupiter. Okay, we're slowing down now. If we zoom out, we could probably see it. No, we just get a white screen. I don't know why it does that. I do want to be able to see it. So I want to try to drop this as far as I can. Looks like we're getting an encounter with Io right now, but we don't want that. So you can see it's starting to curve, but we need it to curve all the way around. So it's a circle. See, there's the edge of the circle. We want it. Okay, we're encountering Ganymede now. All of its moons are in the way. I'm surprised we didn't like encounter one on the way here. We got 40% of our fuel. I think we'll have enough to drop it down a good amount. 25% of our fuel. I don't think we'll have enough to go home. Encountering Io again and escaping. Okay, I'm cutting it. I don't want to get any closer. I wish we could have gotten close enough to see it in the actual game. Because even if we zoom out like this, the game goes white. I don't know. I think it's a bug. But you can see it on the map. And so now we're gonna try to get our landers onto as many moons as we can. So, I mean, looks like we're gonna be low on fuel. It's filling this one all the way up to 100, leaves us with only 4% of fuel left in our main thing. And if we put that in this one too, puts us at, okay, so they're both almost full. We're gonna put this one be at like 95% like that. So we have a tiny bit of fuel in here for RCS and other things. But let's break this one off and go for an IO landing. Okay, we've got 95% of our fuel, so we should be able to do this right. Navigate to. Okay, we're already in a transfer window. So we should be able to just kind of get out of this little area to start. Okay, it wants us to aim this way. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, ship. We'll be back for you later. And then accelerate 400 meters per second about. And these are really small landers, so they're actually really fuel efficient, which is good. Okay, 80% fuel. And we're almost done with our transfer window. Okay, we have an encounter now. So these moons are a lot bigger than Phobos and Deimos. So it's actually worth trying to get to orbit or close to it before the landing. So we'll get it about right there. And then we'll warp till we're there. So the rest of our rocket fleet is going to stay in orbit around Jupiter while we do all of this. So now we're right next to Io. And we're going to burn this way and hopefully get us into an orbit. Uh-oh, hopefully we have enough fuel. We're only at half fuel. Come on. We need at least an orbit. Yes, okay. So we're actually on course to crash, but that's okay. 28% of our fuel left. Let's warp to this spot and then get ready for landing. Open our landing legs once we stop time warping. Okay, landing legs open. We're gonna aim retrograde. I think we'll have enough to land. We're gonna warp here. You can zoom out and probably see it now. Yes, here it is. Okay, we're coming down on IO. 
Very rocky. Okay, we're gonna need the suicide burn. We only have 18% of our fuel left. Okay, in just a minute, I'm gonna suicide burn over here. Okay, this is gonna work. 16%. And... Burn. Okay, it's gonna work. Okay, we start to see the surface now. Okay, we're gonna land on this little ridge right here. Touchdown on Io. Maybe. Count it. Yes, landed on the surface of Io. Okay, we only have 12% of our fuel left. Almost no chance of going back. But before we try, we're going to land on a different moon with our other lander. Turn to the map view and go back to our mothership. And we're going to give it the rest of our fuel just because I want it to be at 100. And we're going to undock it. Okay. And I guess we're going for... Ganymede, I think, is in a transfer window already. 2,000 fuel. I don't think we have that much. Oh, this one was going to stretch our thing perfectly using what we already have. Okay. So, sorry, little mothership. We leave you now. But now we're going to wait for this transfer window. And hopefully, it does exactly what we needed to. How much? 827. Okay, that's better than Ganymede's. Okay, we're speeding up now. We go hopefully we can land two at least on the surface of moons i don't know about getting them back we might have to send a rescue mission okay it's stretching our orbit out to here and we should meet with europa there okay we have an encounter so let's um adjust it so we're as close as possible to it because the closer you are the easier it is to slow down okay that's pretty close okay we're gonna go that and now let's just warp to here and then we'll start to slow down once we get there. Okay, we're on our way now. Okay, we're, we've encountered... Is this Europa? Is that where we are? I can't remember. I think so. So now we're going to start to slow down. Hopefully we didn't get too close. And hopefully we can slow down in time to not escape. I think it'll be good. 35% fuel left. Okay, perfect. And... We're on our way to touchdown now. It captured into low Europa orbit. Okay. 21% of our fuel. Let's go for the landing. We can't time warp. It won't let us. Difference. Okay, we're just going to do the landing now. So we're 258 sideways. So let's just put that at zero. 15%. Okay, once that's at zero, then we're going straight down. Okay, we're going straight down into Europa now. Okay, there's the surface. You can see it. Okay, yeah, we're heading down now. 31. 30. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a suicide burn. But we'll wait till we're a little bit closer. Oh, let's open the landing legs. Open. There we go. Okay, here we go. Here it comes. Suicide burn. Ah, uh, it worked. Let's go. Yes. Land it on Europa! Let's go! Okay. Oh, there's like a texture thing here. So we only have 11% fuel left in this one, and then how much fuel do we have on the other one? 12% on this one, and on our mothership we have... 0.1%. So we cannot make it home, unfortunately. But if you guys want me to go and rescue these landers and bring the mothership home with them, leave a like on this video. If we get this video to 2,000 likes, I will rescue these landers and the mothership and bring them back safely. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit that subscribe button. You guys are awesome and I'll see you next time.